at first I was a little disappointed that like Brittany didn't narrate it. Obviously it's like you're listening to a memoir. Of course you want to listen to the voice of the person who wrote it. Uh, but at the very, she does the very first like introduction part and she says like, this book has been a labor of love and all the emotions that come with it. Reliving everything that you're about to hear has been exciting, heart-wrenching, and emotional, to say the least. For those reasons, I will only be reading a small part of my audiobook. I'm so grateful to the amazing Michelle Williams for reading the rest of it. And to you for listening. Hey, what's up? It's me, Salish. I just finished... Britney's book, The Woman in Me. Let me be clear, this is my first impression. I already know I have other thoughts bubbling up, but I think I just like needed to get this out and I also just needed to like, I just needed to process. It was definitely binge worthy and holy freaking cow, it was so sad finishing it right now the first half I feel like was really like interesting entertaining her talking about other stars you know being in the Mickey Mouse Club with Christina Aguilera and Ryan Gosling of course Justin Timberlake her you know mentioning she's like they wanted to portray me as some virgin forever and she's like I was having sex at 14 and smoking cigarettes like I think that was like all very interesting the way she you know wrote it all out and everything But, you know, at the very beginning, I was kind of hoping, I, I listened to the um, audiobook, which if you want a free copy of the audiobook, I'll drop a link in the description to where you can do a free trial on, on, on Audible to listen to it. It's worth it. It's narrated by Michelle Williams and fun fact, directed by Tommy Kale. Come on, come on, Hamilton, we see you. At first, I was a little disappointed that, like, Britney didn't narrate it. Obviously, it's like you're listening to a memoir. Of course, you want to listen to the voice of the person who wrote it. Uh, but at the very, she does the very first, like, introduction part. And she says, like, this book was really hard to talk about the things that she talks about and it's one thing to write it. It's another thing to like relive it again and say it. And she didn't want to do it. So good for her for not doing it. I think Michelle Williams did a good job um, narrating it. And I listened to it like at two times the speed. So it being faster kind of sounded like Britney like a little bit. But still, I had to suspend my disbelief. <sighs> The second half of the book felt heavy. It felt so sad. There's this woman who, all she wants is her freedom. And she talks about her family and specifically like her dad. And it just, he sounds awful. He sounds awful. He sounds awful. And she mentions how he became a multi-millionaire during her conservatorship. How much he was benefiting. How she couldn't eat fries. She couldn't eat anything. He'd be like, you're fat. And so he controlled everything. She was supervised going to the bat. Like, every everything she did, watching TV from 8 to 9 p.m., like, everything she did was supervised. She couldn't do anything. And because she was making still a money-making machine he just controlled every aspect of everything when he first like got the conservatorship he says to her I call the shots I'm Britney Spears now what 
free Britney as the world, like we all know that like we saw the battle with conservatorship. We saw that like something's not right. And, and so it's great that she's out of it, but she really went into depth of like what happened when she was like thrown into rehab. It just, y'all, it sounds unimaginable. I've always loved Brittany. And I just never like, thought that anything like she described in her book could ever happen. How is she not allowed to take an over-the-counter drug, but then forced onto lithium? It's not right. It's definitely, if you're thinking about getting the book, just get it if nothing else to support her but it's it's a good it's definitely worth a listen and it's a, a good read again I'll leave a, a link in the description if you just want to snag a copy I couldn't stop listening like I almost canceled my whole all my plans to keep listening to it because she finally gets to tell her story. I think there's a lot that we still don't know.